Hey, collective. It's been a little minute, right? I know I'm a little under the weather, so excuse me, but I just had to come on and record. It's literally been months, months. I'm drinking my honey and um, lemon or warm water. Well, it's like tea, so it's like, you know, a little warm. But yeah, let's see. I'm excited. Let's see what the collective need to see right now. I don't want to make it too much about me. I know it's been so long. So it's like I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. I'm not even going to hold you guys. But I'm excited. So let's see what the collective need to see. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. I'm a little warm. I'm not going to lie. This rain really did me in, y'all. But we're going we gonna to get through it. So let's see what the collective needs to see right now, Spirit. It's been a long time. I'm hearing that song. Um, it's been a long change going to come. Okay, so the first card out is you got Goddess My God. Damn. Okay, you could have been going through a lot these past couple of months, weeks. Okay, I'm hearing for some of y'all years. Y'all been just going through it and overcoming it. But I do feel like you have a strong sense of protection around you. You could um, be seeing a lot of black cats. You could have a black cat. You could be drawn to black cats. So black cats could have could be drawn to you. I'm also getting like somebody like my ears stopped up. I'm getting that. Um, yeah, you have. I have purpose, and I am living in it daily. So what I'm getting. All right, remember. You know the superstition they used to say, like, oh, black cats, da -da -da -da. Like, you know this bad rep they had with black cats. I'm getting that. Maybe that's kind of how your life could have been. Like, you could have felt like a black cat. Like, you know, superstition. Like, you know, um, bad things always happen to you. Okay, I'm getting, for example, like, you see how people be like, oh, don't split the pole. Or this to happen. Like, it's like you felt like all your life when you did do these things, bad things would happen to you. So, you could be somebody who um, live in superstition. Like, that's just something that you're into. Okay, it's nothing wrong with that. But whoever you are, it's like you, you're on your journey to finding your purpose. Okay, you got 36 hour water fast coming out. So, some of you could be needing to take a little break. Okay, and, um, you know, fast if you need to. I do feel like your manifestations are coming in. You are protected. Like, even if you feel like... I feel like no matter what it is that you're, you go through, you always feel this layer of protection around you. Like, whoever I'm speaking to, you never really feel out in the cold. Like, I don't care. It's funny. I'm laughing because it's like, even if... I wouldn't care what it is. I, I could be speaking to somebody who's been literally homeless before. Literally out in the cold. But it's like the most high God never make you feel that way. And it's like you know that no matter what you be going through or whatever the situation, the circumstances are right now, you always push through. Yeah, you got new beginnings coming out. Like I said, whoever you are, it's been a it's been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming, but it's like it's coming. Yeah, you got to give thanks, give more thanks to your ancestors. They work 25 8. So, your ancestors really been working, you know what I'm saying, to make things happen for you behind the scenes. Like I said, whoever you are, you never feel alone. I wouldn't give a fuck if you go days, weeks, months without speaking to people. You don't feel alone. I don't care how much time people try to make you feel isolated. I said, I secluded. Isolated and alone or secluded. Look, I don't put I, I don't put isolated and secluded in one word. I said I secluded. <laughs> but yeah, however people may it's like you never really feel that. You know what I'm saying? It's like you enjoy being in Herman mode. It don't bother you. Let's get one more. I feel like that's why people it's like <laughs> maybe people don't like that about you. That even when they try to put you in this barrier or this cage alone like you never feel alone yeah you got 777 jackpot and 222 um balance is coming so you could be seeing 777 222 um or just angel numbers in general that's letting you know 
you know, things is working out for you on the other side. I like this. Let me get a little bit of my... I definitely like this. Yeah. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles. Whoever you are, it's like... I'm here, it's time to put in that work. Or it's like... It's time that all your hard work finally pays off. It's, it's about that time. Spirit saying it's about that time. I feel like you've been, like, investing a lot, you know, in yourself and what it is that you do. Not a coin, yeah. Like I said, you've been investing in yourself, and it's time for your hard work to finally pay off. Look, you got the fool. You got new beginnings and the fool out here. This is what I'm saying. Somebody, something is really about to change in your life. Okay, you could be getting, um, it could be something about some money, yeah, with this seven of coins. It's something that you invested in, ace of sword, yeah. It's something that you invested in that's finally coming around. You put a lot of time in. I'm really keep hearing that song, like, it's been a long time coming, but I know change is going to come. And it's like, that's really the energy that I'm getting. Whoever you, it's really been a long ass road, bro. You could have been going through a court situation as well. Okay, Wait, or it could have been a court situation around some money or some or something. It's finally working out for you, or it's about to. I feel like you've been. It's a lot of investing that you've been doing, and you could have felt like you know, um, me and things is not you know whatever it is. But but something is coming through for you. This three of coin mother sticks. It's like whoever you are, you're very passionate. I feel like you have a lot of angelic help. This is what I'm saying. You have a lot of angelic help around you. And whoever you are, yeah, you got the six of coins and the, and the ace of wands. Whoever you are, it's really like time for you to reap the benefits of all your hard work. All your hard work. You know how like when somebody, um, you know what I'm getting? Like when somebody get famous or something and then they be like, Damn, um, that happened. This person blew up overnight. This person, and it's like, no, it's really grind that be a lot of grinding that go on behind the scenes before somebody really, you know, pop for real, for real. And I feel like even if it takes a say, like somebody could do something, you could have been doing something for three years, you switch in three months, oh things is taking off for you because that's when you know that you actually in your purpose. Sometimes people spend a lot of time doing things that's not in alignment with what they're supposed to be doing and wondering why they're not getting the benefit, they're not getting the results that they're looking for. It's all about literally finding your purpose, finding what what you what you're supposed to be doing. Okay, and I feel like that's what it is. People going to feel like, oh, you got overnight success or something happens for you so fast, so easy. They don't see the hard work that you've been putting in behind the scenes. Okay, all they see is this new beginning. They don't they don't see the, 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 the chapters beforehand. You feel me? Okay, you got the father of coin, two of lives. Judgment. Somebody could have been going, somebody, yeah. It could have been, like I said, with the hermit. With this father coin to a knives, this could have been somebody who, somebody is going through judgment for what they did. Okay, somebody could have been money hungry or, you know, whatever, like somebody was money hungry. I'm getting that. It's a, it's, I'm getting a father figure. This could be somebody like or a grandfather or something like that. Like where whatever somebody is with this two of swords, this is like somebody is going through some sort of judgment for what they whatever they was doing. Whatever they were doing to try to block you. Like I said, people always made you feel like, you know, the black hat, the black sheep, like, you know, bad, like you just bad luck. Or you felt like your whole life was just bad luck. Like, nah. It's over for that. And I feel like people who made you feel that way or tried to make you feel that way or put you in this 
um this closed off state this hermit is like you appreciated that shit but it's like now they going through they they going through karma you know what I'm saying? because you don't do people like that to the sticks you don't do people like that you don't think you gonna you gonna create burdens for somebody in somebody like somebody could have been trying to create burdens for you because of your gifts because of who you are who you destined to be and it's like you can't do that you can't create drama and problems or just struggle period for people and then think your life is going to be easy or you just going to have it good hell no it's like whatever you put back out into the universe you're destined to get that shit back and i feel like even when times was tough or or trying or hard for you you kept pushing forward you had the strength to like be like nah i'm gonna still do whatever it is that i'm supposed to do regardless of how anybody think regardless of how they feel and this is why this is why you got a new beginning coming in. This is why now you're able to celebrate. Yeah, you got the mother of coin coming out. I'm telling you, this could have been somebody who tried to take something from you. Or tried to make it seem like you weren't on a level or you weren't equipped to have something. And it's like now you about to get it all. Son, you about to get it all. I don't know. I'm channeling that Bow Wow song. Um, and when I think about you, that's the first thing that come to my mind. I'm like, ooh, ooh, baby, you could get it all. You could get it all. You could get it. So this could even be like, you know, a situation in love where, you know, somebody is ready to give you the world, start a whole new beginning with you. And I'm not getting something something from the past. I'm just getting a, just a new beginning. It's like you really can have whatever you like. Stack some dick, chrome no ice, and we could pop bottles all night, baby. You can have whatever you like. Skeletons. Whew. Skeletons, confusion, new year. And that's crazy. I seen the confusion card, then it really came out. So, like I somebody could have been trying to confuse you. But it's like some sort of truth is coming out. Skeletons is being revealed. Truth is coming out. People try to make you confused about who you are. For real. Like, somebody is like, I'm getting somebody tried to look at you like you had two heads. Like, what you were doing was wrong. Yeah, it says wrong way. It says the direction that you were moving and was the wrong way make a u-turn yeah somebody wanted to confuse you somebody wants you to feel like like i said when something is not going in like you man you manifested a lot but it's like you put the work in okay somebody wants you to feel like oh you was going the wrong way or you weren't doing what you were supposed to be doing yeah it's like you had to take time to self-reflect and you got something new coming in this is what i'm saying you have something totally new coming in for you it's like people really trying to create blockages, and it's like you overcame that shit. Somebody could like to wear red lipstick. Obsession. So it could be somebody who wears red lipstick that's obsessed with you. If you don't wear red lipstick, it's somebody who wears lipstick that's obsessed with you. But it's like somebody is just obsessed with your new beginning, your new, your, your new life. And it's like with the way this card came out, it's like you could relax, but this person is almost like they can't relax. It's like, mm -mm. it's like somebody is. <laughs> they want to know. They want to know everything about you. Yeah, they need a therapist. Somebody. It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. You know. And it's like whoever this person is. They don't realize they going the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're a performer and guarded. This could have been people close to you, too. You know, people that you let in. They pretended to be one way. But Spirit just kept showing you, like, no. This is not it. You got a lot of protection around you. 
whoever I'm speaking to, you have a lot of protection around you. I'm getting that strong. Like, the protection is real. Yeah, because there's so much black magic going on. So much lying. Evil eye. Look. That's what I'm saying. So, this is why the goddess my eye was the first card out. It's like, your protection is strong because these motherfuckers is really not going to stop. <laughs> they not going to stop. And it's like... The crazy thing is, I don't know what these people be thinking. I don't know. I do not be knowing. Because <laughs> it's like, whoever you are, like I say, change is, is here. Okay, so people thinking they stopping you or getting in the way of that. Mm -mm. Getting in the way of what I'm feeling. Living in the way. Yeah. Ada wands with the world. <laughs> Telling you, whoever you are, you're a high priestess. This is why. Somebody really been lying on your name, too. Lying. But you know what I get? Like, you, you know what I'm getting? People lie on you, but it's like these people who they lied about you, too. They, the people know that they're lying. So it's like whether they, these people listening to them and believing them or, you know, whatever. It's like the things people are saying about you is not you. It's not who you are. And I'm getting like the people that they're saying it to. Or know that. You know what I'm saying? Like they know that. So let's get a closing message. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's a lot of envy. It's a lot of envy. It's a lot of envy. You, They say, oh, collective do this, do that, she did, she that. And people just look at like, I ain't never see that part of this person ever. I ain't like, even if they do have their ways, they ain't like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's coming around. Y'all just sit tight. Sit tight. Balance is definitely coming. Yeah, I use my intuition in all aspects, in, in all aspects of life. So I feel like when you were always in this indecision state or confusion or not knowing which way to go, I feel like now you'll be so firm and steadfast in your decision making, and this is why things is taking off for you. You know what I'm saying? You're not second guessing when a motherfucker don't fuck with you. You're not second guessing when you should make a right or a left. You it's like you following your intuition, and that's why. You're able to just live life how you live it. You know what I'm saying? People be thinking, oh, you live carefree. Yeah, I do because I know that the most high God got me. You know what I'm saying? Like people, oh, how you how you how you live months without a cell phone? Or how you doing this or how you doing that? Things that is abnormal to people in the day to day and you moving and doing it, they looking at you weird, but it's like, bro, I, I move off faith. That's it. I move off faith. Yeah, judgment. I'm telling you, people judge so much about you. And it's like, yeah, since I understand that everyone has their own unique paths and challenges. It's like people judging you. You ain't worried about nobody. If anything, I feel like you you spent more time judging yourself, being more hard on yourself. And I feel like even that you had to learn to stop. You know, be a little bit more lenient with yourself. Show yourself a little bit more compassion. For real. Because it's like, why would you judge yourself? It's already people judging you. You know what I'm saying? If anything, it's time for you to flaunt who the fuck you are. All that humble shit is, is out the window. Because it's like, the more you, you, you be humble, the more people think they can humble you. No, live your fucking life. Period. Period. And I feel like that's the energy that you in. And this is why you have new beginnings coming. You stop caring about what the fuck other people thought. Or how they felt about you. Or what they were going to say about you. Or how they... Like, it's like, man, listen. Man, listen. And that's what I'm getting. This People been judging you. And now they're being judged. Now they're being judged. You got judgment out here twice. And that's the thing. We, 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 man... Everybody got their own challenges. I said that. This, I said, yeah, we everybody going through something. You know what I'm saying? People, I'm telling you, people be having the nerve to sit and talk and judge. And then it's like, but motherfucker, what about you? What about you? 
people will hold their secrets in or hold what they got going on to the side or try to throw it off, but instead of looking at somebody else's life, trying to see what they got going on. But what about you? What you got going on? Motherfuckers' lives is in shambles for just for trying to fuck with yours. Just because of that. They ain't did shit else but fuck with you. And I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? I don't, that like, let's do success. I'm trying to tell y'all. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. Whoever you are, like, no matter what, you confident in yourself. People could say, oh, she this, he that, he, whatever. It's like, yeah, okay, now what about you? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I could talk about me with no problem. Can we talk about you? And if these people ain't ready to do that, then you know where you need to put them. Like, everybody got, everybody got, everybody got things they need to change about themselves. But it's these motherfuckers that love pointing the finger. They love pointing fingers, and this is why. But like I said... Whoever you are, you're going to be successful because you don't stop. You don't, you ain't giving up. You ain't going to just lay down and, and stay down because of what a motherfucker think about you. Like, for real, for real. For real, for real. That's good energy to be in. Like, why should you stop what you're doing or stop how you feeling because, oh, this person think this about you? Man, listen, people be thinking about, people be having opinions of everybody else but they motherfucking self. Like, tell me what you think about yourself. You want to tell me what you think about the collective or what the collective got going on or what they, like, what you, how, how you feeling? You know what I'm saying? People don't even be knowing what their real energy is because they stay in somebody else's energy. They don't even know when they happy, sad, or nothing because they just stay in somebody else's space. You know what I'm saying? They stay trying to figure out what's going on with somebody else. Meanwhile, this whoever they worried about, they living out their purpose. They 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 figuring it out. They figuring out life. Meanwhile, you trying to figure them out. Like, go live your life. Stop trying to watch what how other people live and go live your life. Okay? Like, so that's the message that I have for you all. And until next time, wow, two, two, two. That's how true it is.